Hi, today I'm going to try to show you guys how to use Samsung DeX on your Quest 2, your Oculus Go, or your Gear VR headsets. Um, this is a really simple method. With <coughs> For anyone who's already familiar with Samsung DeX, you probably already know about the little um, USB-C hubs that can be purchased on Amazon for a little bit of nothing um, that work with most Samsung Galaxy phones, uh, flagship phones, uh, that have DeX uh, mode available. Um, well, one thing that you can do with these little neat things is pair them with a USB-C capture card, sort of like the one connected to um, my Quest right here. Uh, and if you plug that into one of the USB ports on the hub itself and then plug the other side into the HDMI out, you create a loop. Okay, cool, right? Well, these phones have a neat little feature available um, that with the right app you can view USB webcams, USB webcams. Uh, it views the capture cards as a USB webcam. So we can use an app like uh, USB camera or IP webcam to not only view DEX mode on the phone itself, which is kind of cool, uh, we can transmit that via HTTP to any browser in our local network. So, the limitation here is that you still have to have your keyboard and mouse for DEX mode plugged into your phone, your, the, the hub connected to your phone. Um, but you can have a very large screen. It can get a little bit laggy, and on the Oculus Go and Gear VR, your screen's only so big and has uh, so much um, visual fidelity, I guess. It, it, it looks a little fuzzy. It's hard to read, but it is readable. You can open up your Dex screen and you know, write an email if you want to, or send a text message. <clears throat> it's totally doable. Uh, right in a browser tab. So, I mean, you can just leave a tab open and bam. Um, so, I'm going to put the headset on real quick, and I'm going to show you a little bit of what, what, I, what it is I've actually been working on here. There we go. Alright, so I've already got things hooked up. Now, obviously I'm using the MetaQuest browser. Um, this is the camera on my phone right here. That you can see up here in the browser window. Let's see if I can wake my mouse up. Alright, I don't have a lot of lag because I am using Ethernet for the phone connection. Uh, I also have a Chromecast connected to the um, Quest 2. Uh, it's di connected directly to the Quest 2 with a USB-C hub uh, and a capture card. The Chromecast is connected to the capture card. Uh, so this is my Dex desktop and I have access to, you know, all of my cool regular Android apps right here oh, isn't that great isn't that wonderful I can send text messages to my mom I can open Twitter or snapchat right bam right there
Just took a picture with the snap camera. Right from my headset, right? Okay, I think that's pretty awesome. Can open up TikTok, Chrome, Google. You know. All right. Hey Google, what's the weather supposed to be like today? What's the weather supposed to be like to get today? What's oh, the display in the bedroom is trying to answer. All right, I am sitting down, so this is all just a little tall for me. I can bring this closer without closing everything out now. Yeah, it's smaller, I guess, but... Oops, I forgot. Right, dex mode. What's the weather? Mm. What's what? That's weird. Alright, it's not going to let me do that. I'll bet it's because I have the audio funky. To VR headsets must become the ultimate screen. You're not kidding. Paper. Did my dash dash not work? Oh. Interesting. What about over here? Yep, there we go. Because I have the number locked up? Samsung Galaxy Galaxy Dex desktop. Um, I've got next camera right there. Let's do one more thing before I use up all the bandwidth here. Let me show you guys one more trick that I think is kind of cool. <clears throat> Not only can we have the Dex mode desktop available to us right here in our virtual space. We can bring up our phone screen right here. Bam. Take another selfie. Look like an idiot. Ha ha. All right. So we can have our phone, our desk. De Dex desktop and some Chromecast stuff all going on at the same time right here in our virtual space. Nice big giant comfortable screens. Everything is easy to see here. It's really quite wonderful guys. Now this is why you would want to do this. This is exactly why you want to do this. And just like that you can bring up your um, phone screen, you can bring up your computer screen with uh, TeamViewer as well, or any desk or 
um, Microsoft uh, remote desktop, as a matter of fact, works. The one that doesn't work is Google's remote desktop. Because you don't have Google Play services on the Quest headset. Which is a serious bummer. So, yeah. It's pretty cool, right, guys? I mean, I can walk over here. I walked out of my border. That's my Dex desktop, just floating in the air in my messy living room. I have kittens. Does anyone want a kitten? Because I have a bunch of kittens here. They're, they're pretty awful. You can have a kitten. Please take a kitten. Yeah, you see, this, this is my space. It's oh, my Dex, my desktop trying to, my desk trying to come into play here. Now let's see the desk. The desk. Huh? Look, oh, look, it doesn't see the desk over here. Isn't that funny? This is where I drew the desk. Anyhow, in spite of the Quest being a buggy headset, in pass-through mode, I am able to use my phone, my Dex desktop, my computer desktop if I want to. I can Chromecast to this bugger. This is a powerhouse. Can Unreal do this? Can TCL do this? They will be able to eventually, and it'll be in color, and it'll be awesome. But right now, this, guys, this is tits.